in this video we will discuss about validation rules applied during the document posting so what is validation validation is used to check the values and validate all the values entered during the document posting and system will validate it according to the validation rules and applied and issue the warning or error message during the document posting so let's go in the system and create one validation rule and apply the process of validation so let's go in the configuration screen spro reference img financial accounting financial accounting global setting so the validation rules come under the tools so here we are going to define the validation and substitution so we are going to create the validation in accounting document so already when validation is created let's create our own validation for our own company code which is 01 and I am going to create the validation rule in document header so save this so now I am going to create one validation and now then I will apply the validation rule here so let's go and create one validation rule H A zero one new validation so the validation is created now I am going to create the steps for the validation so three steps are used for validation so one is prerequisite system will check the prerequisite and then it will apply the check according to the validation rule so I'm going to create the prerequisite first you can also skip the prerequisite for this so system will apply this for all the company code transaction so I'm going to define the prerequisite so for this I'm using going to use accounting document header So let's go and define for company code. If it is available. Yes, company code is available. My company code is and you are going to use the constant as my company code is already defined here H A01 so you can see system create the formula that company code should be equal to H A01 then the system will apply the validation rule so I am now going to define the check so I am going to define the check that document date should be equal to the posting date so let's go and find the date so document date should be equal to posting date so my check is now created let's go to the message so I'm going to issue the error message we can also define our own message so let's go and define our own message number okay messages so I'm going to use the next three number for defining the message so 104 so I'm going to give the short text for defining this message I'm going to define that why you are posting this document I can also 
define any other text so this is my customized text document those so let's save this so it is going to store it in the I'm going to use my own transport number go back and what was the transport message number that was 105 I think let's check there uh, that was not let's go and check again next three number One zero four. So let's go and define one zero four. So save this. So my validation rule, prerequisite check and message is now defined, and now I'm going to activate this for my company code. Go back. Again, go back. So system will issue the error message so two types of messages are available one is warning message and other another one is error message so if we apply the warning message system will allow to process and a user will pass on from the validation tool but when we apply the error message system will restrict the user and it will not allow any user to post this document which is checked according to the validation rule so let's go so you can see this is the technical names of the document date posting date company code so I'm going to activate this for my company code let's go back and my validation rule is H A zero one. We can also check from here H A zero one. And I'm going to make this active. So activate this. Save. And go back now. So now I'm going to check that validation is applied or not so I'm going to use FB01 so let's check the transaction variant I have created in my previous class about the FB01 that is Z to HA so now this is my customized screen and I'm going to post one document so let's check the document date and posting date is different so let's check system will allow or not 40 50 so you can see system applied the error message and it will it is restricting me to post any financial document we can also check from FB01 also go back FB01 this is used to post the financial transaction let's go from the menu financial accounting general ledger document entry so I'm going to use F02 I'm going to post one try to post one document and system will restrict me because I have the posting date and document date are not same so let's go and change the posting date and document date you can you will see now system is allow me so I am going to post one document and you can now overview this and post so this is all about validation rule
applied for the document posting so that's all for this video